What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. Lane 2 Revolution on the plate for today. Fortress Siege, this is number 27 in the series. Eternal versus Dead Soul. Let's check out their statistics menu. And ranking, clan, combat power. Eternal, 138.4 million. And Dead Soul, 134.0, million. I'm looking at 4.4 million. Combat power difference, we know it doesn't mean anything. So be it. All right, so let's check out Battlefield. This is for a B grade fortress. Eternal paid 132 million, 420, 420. I wonder what the bidder was doing while they were bidding. I can neither confirm nor deny this. So let's head into the battlefield. Let's zoom out there. All right, Dead Soul on top in the blue. A little early. Got in here a little early this time. Shout out to Nasilla because I was doing a video yesterday on a different game and completely forgot to even check to see if there was going to be a fight today or not. And she let me know, yes, there was. Dead Soul versus Eternal. So thank you, Nasilla. Appreciate that. There is Dead Soul's leader, Jessime. Come on down here. Some more stacking up. They got a few people. Dead Soul does. This is not planned. I don't think I've I've done too many videos of Dead Soul in Fortress Sieges. Let's head on over to Eternal. Good luck to Dead Soul, by the way. Here is Eternal in the red. They are the attackers. I will be following them. Standard stuff. Looking for Eternal's leader. We're looking, we're looking. It may not be on, or I'm just blind. It's one of the two. It's usually I'm blind, usually. 60 seconds before we begin. I think I need to say the magic words here. I'm not finding, and then look at that, I found him. Every time I say I'm not finding, boom, I am automatically found him. And I, oh, there he is, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, okay. So, Mr. Anderson is the leader. Jessime is the leader of Dead Soul. Anderson, leader of Eternal. Waiting for the battle to begin. 30 seconds before we begin. Will start soon. 10 seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Dead Soul versus Eternal. Eternal coming out, trying to get up to. Nope, they have completely ignored the gate. They are going up here to interrupt Dead Soul. They've done so. Eternal interrupted. Eternal getting Dead Souls now. And their own. But interrupted on Dead Souls. Still getting their own. Interrupted. Getting Dead Souls. Eternal over halfway on their own. Eternal. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Ten percent buff for the next three minutes. Dead Soul trying to get theirs now. But Eternal's going to come flooding up here. And here they come. Are they gonna be able to interrupt them in time? Three seconds, two seconds, one second. No, we are tied at 10%. And Eternal is working both of the non-spawn gate defense towers of Dead Soul right now. This right side one is taking a beating. It is almost done. It is, oh. Just a, oh, there we go, and it's gone. All right, it had a sliver of health there for a hot second. One is down, the other one is being taken down. I don't see too many blue over there. This left tower is being attacked. I think this one is done. There goes the non-spawn gate of Dead Soul. Mr. Anderson trying to lead the charge in. And has died. Good attempt though. Alright, how are we doing over here? Both of these are at, well, they were at full health, but then this guy came in and absolutely crushed that. Wow, that went from from full to, to halfway. I, there must have been lag or something. Or he just did a massive hit. And if that's all he needs to do, he'll take those out pretty quickly. 
Back over to the non spawn gate of Dead Soul. Eternal having some issues getting into the gate, unable to do so. Eternal still has a minute and 15 seconds left on their 10% buff. And they are working the spawn gate defense towers. That tower is gone. This tower is taking a beating. Eternal with less than a minute on their 10% buff. Mr. Anderson has died again. This tower is being chipped away. See some people down there at the spawn side of Eternal. We'll check it out right now. But it looks like they weren't able to do anything effectively awesome there. Back over to the spawn gate of Dead Soul. Nope, looks like Eternal. Well, there goes Bloody Awesome. He went up there and did some more damage to it. Mr. Anderson has died again. Eternal, less than 20 seconds left on their 10% buff. We've got a big battle going on here at the north side of the Spring of Recovery. Eternal, five seconds before they need to start imprinting on their altar again, and they have begun to do so. Dead Soul, less than 10 seconds. Eternal trying to protect. Nope, here comes somebody to interrupt them. Oh, but he wasn't able to do so. Eternal, 10% buff for the next three minutes, and they have managed to interrupt Dead Soul. So we come up here, where Eternal is coming here in force now. Trying to get that 30% buff. No one is. There we go. Finally, somebody started imprinting, but they were interrupted. They were trying again. That soul does not want them to get the 30%. But Eternal. Oh, interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted again. Eternal trying again. Interrupted again. That guy just came spinning in there. Looks like the spawn gate of Dead Soul is now down. Well, Eternal still has both of their gates up. But one of the defense towers of the non-spawn gate of Eternal is gone. Eternal is wasting time here trying to get this 30% buff. Pretty awesome. Oh, looks like the... And here goes the defense tower of the Holy Artifact of Eternal. That thing is about done. Having broke through the non-spawn gate of Eternal, they immediately went to the defense tower. This one is a little under halfway. Dead Soul, three seconds, two seconds, one second. They've gotten their 10% buff for the next three minutes. Eternal only has one minute left on theirs, which gives Dead Soul a slight advantage. There goes that Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Eternal. Mr. Anderson trying to get some time. Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Dead Soul, gone. This other one going down. Over halfway dead now, before Dead Soul was able to ma manage to stop them. There is the leader of Dead Soul up there, old Jessime. A lot of stuff going on, but Eternal only has 15 seconds left under 10% buff, and Dead Soul is definitely going to try to go down there and stop them from getting it. Eternal is throwing onesies and twosies at this Holy Artifact Defense Tower. Let's see how Dead Soul handles this. Eternal has begun imprinting their altar and has been interrupted. Eternal is here in force though. But it doesn't matter. 
that soul keeps interrupting them. Eternal interrupted again on their own altar. But trying again. Here comes, and there's a blue that snuck around the back and interrupted them. Mr. Anderson, another 0.1, 0.2 seconds of imprint time. Eternal unable to get their imprint on their altar. Dead Soul, however, approaching the one minute mark on their 10% buff. Eternal trying again. Eternal over halfway, three seconds, two seconds. Oh, interrupted. Just a couple seconds left to go there. Trying again. Dead Soul, 45 seconds left in their 10% buff. Sounds like the second Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Eternal has been taken down. Giving a lot of room for Dead Soul. There and there she is. She has started to get some time. She is... That was a good five seconds right there at least. Snuck in there. Got a few seconds, and she's back up again, and imprinting again, and take it down, back up again, imprinting some more. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. She is, she is all by herself right now. 15 seconds remaining. There is no eternal here right now. There's a couple. 10 seconds are up. She's finally stopped. That was a lot of time right there. She's trying again. And there is Nasilla. No, nope, unable to stop him. Just me. 15 seconds left. Take it down. Finally take it down. Eternal. You're now down by what? What? 20 seconds or more right now? You gotta leave some people back there. But Eternal has a 30% buff for the next 2 minutes and 39 seconds. They need to take advantage of this. Or no, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. For the next 2 minutes and 3 seconds, they have a 30% buff. Great job by Eternal for taking both Alter imprints, but you need to take advantage of this now. Let's see what they do. Looks like they're trying to go in both sides. It's a good strategy. Split and conquer and divide and all that. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's move on. Eternal has pushed in. They are definitely trying to fight their way up to, up to here to give Mr. Anderson a shot. And there he goes. He has thrown up a shield, but he has stopped. He's trying again. He's killed. He went up there with no backup whatsoever. He's back up again. Too many dead soul here. Not enough Eternal. Where's all the Eternal? Unable to do anything with this 30% buff. And they have it for the next 60 seconds. Still a lot of time left in this battle though. Over 19 minutes left. Let's see what's going on over here. The spawn gate of Dead Soul. In this area looks like just a few eternal and a few dead soul. Not a whole heck of a lot going on. There is a massive battle going on right here. See if we can move on down here and see what is going on. Eternal trying to push their way through again. There's Mr. Anderson. He's trying to play catch up. But he's stunned and killed. Eternal. Halfway on their own altar imprint with 19 seconds left. Interrupted. 15 seconds left of Eternal's 10% buff. Eternal trying to get on their own. 10 seconds left on Dead Soul's altar imprint. Eternal trying, trying and trying and interrupted, interrupted, unable to mount anything. And right now they are completely 
tied with no buffs. Eternal trying again. There's a lot of Dead Soul down here. Eternal needs to come down here. Dead Soul over halfway on their own Ultra Imprint. Interrupted. Great job by Eternal. Eternal trying again on their own. Dead Soul trying to get on their own. Both interrupted. 17 and a half minutes remaining in this battle. Eternal trying to get on their own. Interrupted. Got halfway. Ooh, big battle going on up here. Lots of blue, lots of red. Dead Soul. Over halfway. Interrupted. Eternal interrupted. Neither team allowing the other to get a, a lousy 10% buff. Dead Soul trying again. What is Eternal doing? Trying again. There's a lot of people in the back here. This is not the place you really want to be, is it? Shouldn't you be up front? Or are you all dead? Dead Soul, over halfway. Interrupted. Eternal, interrupted also. Eternal, trying again. Dead Soul, trying again. Eternal, interrupted. Dead Soul. Over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. 10% buff for Dead Soul. Tables have turned now. Dead Soul is going to come screaming down here. Interrupting Eternal. Eternal is trying and they are being interrupted left and right. Interrupted again. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I think if Dead Soul... Managed to get a 30% buff. Hopefully we'll see them do a little bit more than Eternal was able to do. Eternal's trying again. They are halfway there. Doing a good job on defense right now as long as they don't let anybody slip behind. Two seconds, one second. Oh! Interrupted at the last second. Unfortunate. Interrupted it again. Dead Soul approaching the two minute mark remaining on their 10% buff. A lot of red down here though, trying to stop Jessime from getting more time. Hand it to Eternal, they are not giving up at all. They are over halfway. Interrupted again. Trying again, interrupted again. Dead Soul, one minute, 30 seconds on their 10% buff. Dead Soul trying, look at this. Jessime is just being a thorn in their side right now. She's gotta have at least two or more Eva Saints in her party and she is getting up every time they kill her. And Eternal is still trying. They are definitely wasting Dead Soul's time for sure. Dead Soul looks like they are there in force now though. Blue is definitely here in force there, but Eternal is still trying to get theirs. Now Dead Soul tried, both were inter interrupted. Eternal trying again, Dead Soul, 30 seconds left in their 10% buff. Dead Soul is now trying to go for Eternals. Dead Soul is over halfway on Eternals. Dead Soul has three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff. 30% buff for the next 10 seconds. They're gonna come screaming back up here and try to get their own. Looks like Eternal is having respawn timer issues right now. That Soul is trying to get their own altar imprint. Big battle going on up here. Mr. Anderson has died. That Soul, two seconds, one second. 30% buff in the next 2 minutes and 27 seconds. That's going to be devastating for Eternal right now. Uh, 
I think we're gonna see a whole heck of a lot of blue coming down here pretty soon. Let's see here. Looks like the spawn gate of Eternal was taken down some time ago. I'm watching these dots. I don't know what's going on up here. But whatever was going on is over now. Dead Soul's gonna come down to Eternal's holy artifact and possibly try to end this battle. But look at them, they all went down here to the spawn side of Eternal and slammed into a wall of Eternal. That is outstanding. Slurpee trying to take on a quarter of the clan himself. Unable to do so. Dead Soul. One minute and ten seconds remaining on their 30% buff. I still think the tunnel's down probably by a good 20 seconds for the tiebreaker. Maybe even more now. I, I missed Jessime getting more time earlier. Speaking of, she has died. Anderson trying to get more time. A little bit, I guess. Dead Soul, 30 seconds left on Eternal's Alter Imprint and their 30% buff. We have less than 11 minutes remaining in this battle. I am staring at this map. I am trying to see where to go. There are skirmishes all over this map right now. We'll go here to the middle. Dead Soul now has 29 seconds of a 10% buff. Eternal trying to get their own Alter Imprint. And they were interrupted. No defense there. Again, Dead Soul sneaking in. With one person and stopping them again and again. Dead Soul with one second left. Okay, we are tied at no buffs right now. Dead Soul is getting their own. Eternal is getting their own. What is going to end? Look at it. They both look like they are imprinting at the same time. Good job by Eternal for interrupting them. Giving them a little breathing room. Eternal uh, interrupted with about two seconds left. Eternal is trying to go for Dead Souls now and their own. Interrupted. Dead Soul going for their own. Interrupted. Eternal interrupted. Dead Soul going for their own. Interrupted. Eternal going for their own. And I'm bouncing back and forth like a yo-yo here. Eternal over halfway. A lot of red here for protection. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes for Eternal. That is good for them. Boy, they did a great job defending that 30% buff for two and a half minutes. But they're still down, I believe. In the Holy Artifact imprint time tiebreaker. Eternal trying to get that 30% buff. They're halfway there. Interrupted. Trying again. Less than nine minutes left in this spot in this battle. Eternal over halfway. Doing a good job. Stonewalling them right here. Eternal, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for two minutes and twenty-two seconds. They need to take advantage of this right now. Now is the time to, to play catch up or to get caught up. I better see some red coming up here. Not a lot of blue. There's a few blue. Looks like they're trying. It looks like Eternal's trying to go through the spawn side and non-spawn side again. And there is Rika Loves Hugs, who has left Enigma to join Dead Soul. Is this a permanent thing? I don't know. There's Mr. Anderson trying to get some time. And he is jumped on and destroyed. 
Mr. Anderson is revived, trying to get some time again. But there comes a whole lot of blue. He simply has no backup right now. He is trying to do this all by himself, it looks like. There's a lot of red down there. Eternal, unable to capitalize on the 30% buff. They have it for a minute and five seconds. <laughs> Nothing. There's just a ton of blue up here, as you can see on the map in the upper right, but no red whatsoever. It looks like they're down here trying to... <laughs> Well, it looks like they're all over the place, in all honesty. There's Jessime, dead. Lots of dead red here at the spawn gate of Dead Soul. Eternal, 10 seconds before their 30% buff runs out. Less than six and a half minutes remaining in this battle. The altar of wind Kitty 2018 tried, interrupted right off the bat. Mr. Anderson trying again to get some time, trying, trying to catch up to Dead Soul. Unable to do so. Halfway through their altar imprint. Wookie is right there. And, and Vermox managed to interrupt and kill Kitty 2018. So it makes a lot taking Kitty's place in the imprinting. Interrupted. We are back to no buffs once again. Eternal trying for their own. Interrupted. Dead Soul trying for their own. Eternal trying for their own. Less than five and a half minutes remaining in this battle. Dead Soul's got a bit of a lead. Dead Soul, three seconds, two, no, interrupted, good job. Eternal, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes. The blue team has started imprinting the holy and thus begins the battle for yet another 30% buff for Eternal. They are trying right now, but interrupted. Eternal trying again. Over halfway. Three seconds. Oh, interrupted. Trying again though. They only have four and a half minutes remaining in this battle. They have two minutes and ten seconds left on their 10% buff. Dead Soul is not letting them have this. They're definitely wasting their time right now. A lot of a lot going on on all sides of this battlefield. Eternal interrupted with about two seconds left. But trying again. Interrupted. Yet again, here is Zulex. Or Zulek. Sorry. He is out there. Interrupted. They are trying very hard to get this 30% buff. Oops. I wanted to come on down here. Is that just me down here again? No. Nope. Yes. You got some time. Trying again. And they've killed her again. I think at this point, with three minutes remaining, Eternal's going to be hard-pressed just, just to catch up. They're going to most likely need to get the full imprint 
in order to win this battle. I paid a lot of money for this, for this fight. And that's all is just not having it right now. Eternal 15 seconds left under 10% buff. Unable to get the 30%. Not allowing Dead Soul to get the 10%. Two minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Eternal trying for Dead Souls and their own. Eternal. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff to the next, well, for the remainder of the battle. They are guaranteed 10% buff. Now, the last thing they need to do is fight for the next minute and a half for the 30%. But it looks like they are over halfway on their own. And they had, oh, interrupted with about a second left. Mr. Anderson's trying to get more time. He's getting slapped around. There he goes. Now he's getting some time. Now he's getting some time. Here we are with a minute and 25 seconds left. Oh, he is getting a massive amount of time right now. We may be looking at a winning... Oh, interrupted. With what, eight seconds left? Well, he got a heck of a lot of time there. He may have even caught up to them. He is getting more right now. Eternal is up there to try to help him out. Finally, he is by... Not by himself, I should say. He's getting a ton of time. He at his eight seconds left, seven seconds. I think Eternal is now ahead in the tiebreaker. They must be. He got a good 30 seconds off those two attempts right there with 49 seconds left remaining in this battle. And Eternal has a 30% buff for the remainder of this battle. What a shocker right here at the end. Eternal doing everything they can and getting it done. Potentially, we will find out in 30 seconds. Now, if Eternal is still going at them, which they are, that may mean they may not have caught up. We're going to find out, though. we got less than 20 seconds to find out. Boy, if they're not... If they're not close or ahead... I, I don't know. Five seconds remaining in this battle. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and... Congratulations to Dead Soul. I guess all that time Mr. Anderson got there at the end was not enough for Eternal to catch up to Dead Soul. That is unfortunate. Here are your stats. Congratulations to Slurpee for taking number one on Dead Soul. Well, throughout the whole battle, it seems. That is unfortunate. He was close two times in a row. And it was not enough to catch up to them. But I'm telling you right now, they must have been close, like within a couple of seconds. It would be phenomenal if somebody would get me a screenshot of that, of, 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 the, to of the time of each of the teams had remaining. And there are your stats, ladies and gentlemen. That is about that. What a great fight there at the end as Eternal almost caught up with them. Ladies and gentlemen, Hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you again.